<laughs> What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to our channel. Like mother. Like daughter. I'm the mother. And, I'm the daughter. and today we have a fruit mukbang and the shard is going to be talking to y'all about the time she got caught with the, talking to a boy for the first time. And um, of course we're going to talk together, y'all. I don't have a name for five seconds. I'm going to chime in on my, what I thought and everything like that. So we got watermelon, mango, strawberries, and grapes, and pineapples, y'all. Just the regular stuff that we like to eat. Yeah, the, the, the strawberry. We gotta pray for this. Yeah, Heavenly Father, thank you for these fresh fruits that we're about to receive. We went to public and got from heaven. In your name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. <laughs> y'all, the strawberries look so big today. These are strawberries, y'all. And I just hope and pray they're sweet because some years, sometimes the strawberries. Show them what you eat. Y'all, it make your fruit sweet. We got that from Yummy Bite. She, she did a uh, mukbang and she be putting that on them. And we love it now. Eat this real quick. And then we're gonna start talking. We gotta get something in first. So, what I do is I put a garbage nectar on my job, then I put tahini. Mm. Mm hmm. That's how Skyler reviewed it. Mm hmm. I love Scala Marie, y'all. Mmm. The tahini just make it. Ooh. Okay. Start by saying how you met this boy. I, okay, y'all. Y'all was, I was a 10, I think. 10. Yeah, she was 10. Yeah, she was 10. And I had Android or whatever. And I used to post myself. He used to comment on the every video and everything. So this is a social media account? On TikTok. Uh-huh. And he used to comment on all my videos. Calling me pretty. I thought he was ugly. I just thought he was ugly at first. And then, yeah, he was ugly. But then Christmas came around. Y'all was talking? Um... So you just comment your videos and you wasn't seeing nothing back? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. Christmas comes around. My mama buys me a new phone. Oh, yeah. I got a phone privilege is back, y'all. No, that was before all that. Oh, okay. Yeah, I had got my phone. And I, the boy texted me talking about some happy Christmas or happy something. I Merry forgot. Christmas. Yeah. And I text, I say Merry Christmas back. And then we start talking or whatever. He said, do you wanna, do you wanna FaceTime? I was like, How, what is FaceTime? I didn't know what it was at first. Uh -huh. So I had to look at my phone and search up FaceTime. And I had FaceTime him. And we was talking about what we wanted to do for New Year's and how we were gonna see each other. <laughs> and how the you gonna be up with this boy? Y'all, yeah. lying, cause who the hell was gonna take her? That's what I wanna know. And we talking about how his mama gonna pick me up. So you don't make this boy mama and everything on the phone? Mm-mm. Oh. I didn't know what it was. I still to this day don't know what he did. Oh. <laughs> and I was under the impression that y'all met on that school. Um, when you was at home on school, when that COVID thing, oh, okay, keep going. What I'm saying? You said that you said something about the mama, you gonna pick the mama, the mama's gonna, Come pick you up, so y'all made oh, plans. Yeah, New Year's. Made plans and no car, no no car, no permission. Keep yeah. going. And then New Year's come. I'm still talking to the boy or whatever, and he texts me something. You ready to come? I did not respond. But I didn't even open the message. And then I text him. No, I didn't open the message or nothing. He kept blowing up my phone. And I text him a day after that. I said I had got into a fight and I had. I said something like that. I had got into a fight and I had to go to uh, DJ J Club. <laughs> you know that part of that? I told him that. He ain't old enough to DJ that. Well, he believed. Uh huh. And then he was like, oh, okay, it's cool, or whatever. And what happened after that? We started dating on New Year's. No, the day after New Year's. Uh huh. Mm. But I really wanted his brother. <laughs> anyway. That's tracking. 
<laughs> you don't do no mess like that. Well, did I get with bro? No. But okay. you did. Don't even have thoughts like that. We all have thoughts like that, but yeah. Uh, so I I talked to him, not knowing my mom was gonna check my phone. Cause I thought, I thought like I wasn't she, checking it at first, y'all. I, I was trying to give her thing. I was trying to make it seem like I trust her. So, and I ain't that she was doing anything that I need to really. I wasn't really doing nothing though. And then it comes to this night. I she say. told my son, "Let me take some pictures on your phone." And why you going to sleep? Cause I was going halfway to sleep. She came out and took my phone with him. And then, the morning I wake up, the shawty break your hair. Yep, <laughs> sure did. Yeah, I went in the phone. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you how I signed the phone. Babe, you wanna play robot block? <laughs> what the hell, Roblox? They on the phone. All they keep just saying, babe, cause they think it's cute, I guess. <laughs> uh huh. What you doing? I'm eating, take a picture of her eating. He's taking a picture of Roblox and I see where they was on the phone communicating with each other and playing Roblox while they communicating. I love you, all kind of stuff. I miss you. How the hell you miss somebody that you ain't never saw before? How you miss somebody that you, you ain't never saw this person but you miss them, stuff like that. And um, so I feel funny about it, y'all. Tell me what I said. She was cussing me out. Well, she wasn't cussing me out. I was scared she was about to whoop me. Cause I want to know why you talking to a boy at 10 years old. But uh y'all kids gonna do it, y'all. And I had to understand that. So for um Felipe the girl's dad, which is Charlie's stepdad, he talked to me about it. And he was like, you know, at that age they start like little boys and stuff like that. He was just like, you know, if you if you tell her that she can't do it, she gonna find a way to still do it behind your back. He was like, it's okay because it's not nothing serious and I don't see where they're doing anything wrong because I let him read the messages too. He said he didn't see where they were doing anything wrong. They just keep calling each other babe. He thought that was um, a little weird, but they wasn't talking about anything in inappropriate. They was doing kid things, y'all, like yeah. boring kid things. And he was like, he didn't see anything, you know, wrong with that. And, um... So we continue to let her talk to this little boy. Yeah, more of the story. And she, she still like the boy. Yeah, like more of the story because he was very respectful once I talked to him about the situation. And so that it wasn't talking about things like that. So I just continued to let her talk to him because if I didn't, she was going to find a way to do it behind my back. So me and Felipe agreed to let her continue talking to the boy. So we agreed to let her continue talking to the boy or whatnot. Nothing ever got serious or anything like that. They she both was childish. I mm -hmm. still, now every day I was going through this phone now, y'all. Every day I was going through that phone, okay? There was not a day I didn't miss of going through that phone. Oh, sure. oh, and I, I had a link to my, uh, and then I had, no, then I got an iPhone. I had a link to everything she was doing, I would see on that iPhone. I was up on the D because you talked to the boy now, so we got to be, yeah, we got to be cautious about this. So yeah, yeah, like he was very respectful when I used to pick the phone up and speak to him and stuff. He was very respectful, wasn't rude to me. A yeah, very respectful little boy, very. And ever since that day, my mama know about every person I, I done talked to. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I know. Cause everything. I told him, I tell him. Well, she get hits by when I start talking about her. Uh huh. Yeah, people say, oh, you shouldn't let your kids date. You shouldn't let your kids date. They're like, going to do it. Going on. It's nothing serious. Like, long as you monitoring it, now you ain't going on no date date. I ain't about to take you out here to somebody some, going to some movies with somebody. I don't believe in that until, like, high school. But talking on the phone, they're going to do it regardless. they like, if you don't let them, they're going to find their friend phone, somebody else's phone. Steal load, they phone. And then be talking to the person. You get what I'm saying? So you might as well just loosen up some and it's just a male friend. They thinking this boyfriend, girlfriend. We thinking like how we thinking. They, ain't they, last. they, 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 they thinking like the way they thinking, no, it ain't even really nothing like that, y'all. Unless your child wrong. Okay. Well, she know I'm playing with I be her fucking back in here. I don't see how this kid be sneaking out. I see boy, I'm scared. They might kidnap me. Try if she wants to. Now, the age I think a shark will be able to go on dates with a guy or a boy, maybe 15. The only person she will ever take me some way. 
I'll probably tell her I'm going to, uh, what's it called? What's your place called? Uh, Bell Bottom. Bell Bottom. Bell Bottom. Bell Bottom. Bell Bottom. Bell Bottom. It's right by the mall. David Busters or something with my friends. And, I, and guess what? I'm gonna be it there. It ain't really no date. It's just. I ain't never it's where a group of kids, boys and girls, meet up and go skating. Or whatever they be doing. Oh, yeah. But I'm there. Supervising. She get mad when I do certain things. Cause she do it on purpose to embarrass me. When you say no, they're gonna find a yes. I don't care how you put it. Now I ain't saying let Jody hide, lay up in your house. So I ain't telling you to do all that. What I'm saying is it's okay to talk to little boys in a in a friendly way, but monitor their phone 24-7 at all times, okay? If she was to go through my phone right now, she would not find I'm telling you this now. You find the most craziest stuff in my phone. But I always have to remind Shy too, not to do YouTube, be careful talking to people. Like text people, certain stuff, mm -hmm. talking to people. Because you never know what they're trying to do. You got a mango? Mm-hmm. It's so good. That I think the mango is my favorite. It's so cute. Mm. Ain't nothing like a good mango. I want to go to Mexico and try these mangoes. <laughs> I want to be on a tree. I said, come on, vamanos. <laughs> I'm going to your phone. He has my phone. But yeah, y'all. That's the story how she got caught with a boy. And cause I was gonna, I was gonna cut her. If it wasn't for Felipe, I was gonna cut her ASS. I said, Char gets in trouble in school this year. She is going home. Yes, school. Baby, it's gonna happen either way. I told you, that school don't like me. What's you so got the option to change schools. You say you don't want. You, you got a choice now. That mango is just so good. Y'all can hear. Look how fresh it is. Mm. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the strawberries are big and look juicy. But it, mm -hmm. all the strawberries I've been tasting this year is not sweet this year. Why y'all think I put that strawberry in there? But yeah, my favorite was the mango and the watermelon. What was your favorite? Same thing. Yep. Y'all, that is it for this video. Y'all been dying to ask for it. I forgot her name. And actually, I have not forgotten about you or trying to subway. Try not to subscribe or sub. I'm gonna get to you on that one. If y'all got requests, y'all DM. I be reading y'all DMs. It goes down in the DM. It go down. It go down in the DM. It go down in your DMs. But I ain't got nobody on DM. So make sure you what? Like, comment, and share.